Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting concept related to snow pipe. Okay, many times we use snow pipe for automating the ingestion of data or files from S3 to our snowflake table, right? Now suppose a particular file comes whose schema is not matching with the snowflake table maybe there is one uh, column which you mentioned as double type in your snowflake table but in that particular column in the file suppose by mistake string value is coming then string value we cannot simply insert in double data type right so that time the snow pipe will fail okay but generally finding out why the pipe got failed and uh, debugging the issue is bit tricky and difficult also so this is kind of pain point for the developers. So we can solve it out using Snowflake SNS notification. Okay, that is Snowflake has a particular feature using which if the snow pipe get failed, then why it got failed, it can send that notification to an AWS SNS topic. And from that topic, maybe we can create one mobile notification subscription or email subscription to notify the developer team that this, this is what the snowflake published that this is the error happened during the automation in the snow pipe and then the developer team can investigate into that okay so as a first step what we need to do in aws we need to create sns topic for that where the snowflake that is snow pipe will publish the error message if it is encountering some error while doing the automatic ingestion from s3 to snowflake table okay so step one is create SNS topic, right? So I'll be going to AWS management console and I'll be going to simple notification service. So to make the particular notification faster, better, you create SNS topic in such region where your Snowflake account is also present. Okay, like our Snowflake account is in US is two. So I am going to create the SNS topic also in US is two, that is Ohio region. Okay, so you see Ohio is US is two, right? So here I will go to here, then maybe I can go to topics and I will go to create topic. I want standard topic, demo YT snow pipe notification failure, some random name I am giving and then here access policy for the time being I am keeping everyone can publish and everyone can subscribe, but you can fine tune the access when you are going to production. Okay, simple. Now here what I will do, I will create the topic, right? So make a note of this particular ERN, okay? So this is the topic for which the ERN we noted, okay? Now what is the step two? The step two is the snowflake should able to put the notification to this SNS topic, right? So for that we will be creating snowflake SNS topic, okay? Which is one policy, okay? And that policy will allow to publish notification in the SNS topic what just now we created okay so the policy somewhat looks like this you can see here effect is allow what action we are allowing that is SNS publish where we are allowing that is the resource should be the SNS topic here in what we created in this step one okay so what we will do we will now once this SNS topic is created we will be going to AWS management console in a new tab and we will be going to IAM okay and then here what we will do we will go to policies and then here we will go to create policy and then simply we will be copying this particular policy okay this i have taken from snowflake documentation itself we will be going to json and we will be replacing here okay so this sns topic here and instead of this you have to paste this particular topic so that snowflake can publish the error notification to this particular sns topic okay right simple now we'll go to next tags and next review okay so maybe the name i'll be giving snowflake sns topic okay you can give some name according to your choice not an issue which will allow basically this policy will basically allow to publish the error notification to that sns topic what we created okay so here we are creating the policy right so this is the step one okay next what is this step that is we have to create IAM role with the policy created earlier that is the snowflake SNS topic that policy whatever we created will be creating an IAM role for snowflake using snowflake IAM creation style okay 
So already I have discussed how you can create S3 integration object using IAM instead of using user ID password. That style only you have to follow and you have to create one IAM role and that role should be having this particular policy. Okay. So that we can use that particular role in Snowflake. So for that we'll be going to roles and then here we'll go to create roles and then here we'll be, we'll be going to AWS account and then here I'll be copying this particular ID. I'll be choosing another account. I'll be pasting that external ID I'll be choosing. I'll be putting some zeros for the time being. All these steps I have already discussed earlier in my previous video. So I'm going a little bit fast here. And then we can go to next. Okay. Now here we have to choose the policy. So the policy name what we created is Snowflake SNS topic. We'll be choosing that. We'll be pasting that here. Hit enter. This is the policy. We'll be going to next. Okay. Snow pipe demo error notification okay some name i am giving it might be having spelling mistake not an issue for the time being and then here we will be keeping a note of that okay right and let it be everything as it is all we will do will create the role okay so the role is created we will search for the role and this is the role we will go to that and here we are having this particular policy we'll be going to trust relationship and we have to update the aws account and external id okay so let's go to snowflake and let's see this step so first step what we are doing drop database if exist ramu okay so we are basically going to do this poc in a fresh environment so ramu successfully drop if i go here and refresh this particular place see currently no ramu database is there all we are doing create database ramu and we are using the ramu database okay so if I refresh now, here Ramu database is coming. For the time being, I am using account admin role because to create this kind of integration, this role, this kind of role you have to use, which has all these accesses. Okay. So this is the code to create a notification integration with AWS and Snowflake. Okay. Just doc from documentation, you can copy paste. Nothing rocket science. Create or replace notification integration. Error notification. Send some custom name you can give. Enable true type is Q notification provider is AWS SNS for our case. Okay, then here outbound rule we are applying and then here uh, AWS SNS topic ERN. So what is the SNS topic ERN? For AWS SNS the topic ERN is basically this particular one. We'll be copying that and we'll be pasting that here. And SNS role ERN. So what is the SNS role just now what we created? That is basically SNS role ERN is this one. We'll copy that and we'll paste that here. Okay. Then let's run this particular one. See integration successfully created, right? And then here we'll describe that, okay? So once we describe that, here we'll be getting the actual user ARN. Let me make this bigger. User ARN is this one. We'll be copying this. We'll be going to IAM. We'll be editing the trust relationship. And then here, this one as a user I'll be updating. And the external ID what we initially put 00, zero that also will be updating here okay right nothing rocket science already discussed several time how to create integration object you can check the prerequisite links in the description box also and here we updated the policy right now we are all set with respect to snowflake integration okay now what we are doing let me show you first the demo and where error might come right so for that what we will do first we are going to aws s3 and we are going to create a bucket for this demo okay so the bucket name we can give demo error capture snowflake notification something i am giving okay now creating the bucket okay pull up to this so here i'll be using this particular one to create external stage right so first what we are doing we are creating a table okay so let me show you the data set what i am using so i am basically using id data set which is having six column first column is id column and next column is basically containing some feature about the setosa virginica or farcicolor this different kind of id flower okay that is sepal then sepal with petal then petal with if you see that the first column is basically integer and next four sepal length, sepal with petal length, petal with are having double data type. Last one is having string or fair care column. Okay. And based on that only I have specified the DDL. Create or replace table video. ID is number. 
sepal then sepal with petal and petal with a double tie and the last one is fab cat type okay right we are creating the table then what we will do we will create the file format okay so for this particular demo we are going to work with csv file so my csv format i am specifying and skip header one i am giving because in our file the header is present right so we have to skip the header all set and the field delimiter is comma type is csv all this normal code i am executing right with default features okay then what we have to do here we have to create the external stage now here also you can use iam role based authentication for creating s3 integration like how i discussed earlier okay like how i discussed in this particular notification integration creation but for this particular poc to make things simple to create the external stage i am directly using user id password okay so here what i will do i will go here and then here i will go to security credentials and then here i'll go to access key create new access key download the key file and here i'll open that okay so this is the new key and access key and secret key i'll be copying this particular access key okay i will be pasting that here in the aws key id and similarly that aws secret key also i'm using so this is little bit unsafe after this demo i'll be deleting this anyway and here we have to provide the s3 bucket name okay so the bucket name is this particular one where we want to create the external stage right so here let's execute this so stage is successfully created right now here let's execute list command okay so stage name is no simple so when we are executing list command in this no simple we are getting nothing why because in this particular place no data is there so let's upload some amount of data what i will do i will upload the setosa file okay which contain only id setosa related information okay right so here it is uploaded now if i execute list command here we will able to see that it is showing the setosa dot csv file okay now before executing copy command manually let me show you in the video table currently no data is there what we are doing we are executing the copy command okay that is copy into this particular video table from this external stage with the file format and pattern we are specifying okay right so let's execute that and here it is done see error in zero no error came super now if i execute this so before going into execution if you see the setosa is having first row as basically header and total there are 51 rows so basically 50 rows should be inserted because first row is header so here if i execute copy command it is already done see 50 rows got loaded and then here if i execute select star here perfectly you are able to see 50 rows got loaded okay so this is a good injection that is perfect injection no error we encountered okay now let's see when error comes what will happen okay so i created a farsi color file which contains same kind of uh, flower related information but in this petal width column which is basically double type i have imputed with one string value okay see 1.4 hello is there okay now when executing copy command as this column in the ddl we have mentioned we have mentioned as double but here it is string it will throw error okay so let's see that so here i'll be going to this particular external stage i will be uploading that and then here if i click on farsi color if i upload this it is uploaded successfully i'll be going here here farsi color is there now i will execute copy command manually just to show you that error is appearing okay see numeric value 1.4 hello is not recognized for the file farsicolor.csv okay now here we are executing manually then we are able to see the error but suppose you have execute you are executing this copy command using snowpy then suppose this kind of situation appearing then then and their developer team should be notified okay otherwise it is complete automation it will not at all send any notification and the developer might think okay everything is set in production that should not happen right so for that we can use the integration what we basically created okay notification integration okay so here what i will do i for this particular notification integration demo i am creating another table video 2 earlier table was video 1 now i am creating video 2 with same tdl okay so here it is created and for the time being what i will do i will delete all this data also from external stage to show you the demo okay and it is deleted successfully so currently in our external stage no data is there okay 
Now we are creating a snow pipe. Okay, and see the comment for snow pipe. Okay, create a replace pipe spa auto ingest true like we generally use to make automation. Okay, then here one extra key value pair you have to pass that is error underscore integration is basically the integration what you created. So what is the integration we created? Our integration name is basically error notification send. Okay, that's what we are using here. See error integration equal to error notification send. Okay, and then we are executing the same copy command in the video two table from the external state. That's it. No other change. Okay. Now what will happen? Suppose while having auto ingestion, if snow pipe encounter error, it will be sending the error in the SNS topic. And whoever has subscribed to that SNS topic, to all of them, the error notification will be broadcasted. Okay. So first, what we will do? We will create this particular pipe. Pipe successfully created. And what we will do? We will be going to this particular simple notification service, whatever we created. Currently, no subscription is there. I will create one subscription. Okay. So I want to send email, and I want to send email to this particular dummy mail ID. What I created for this experiment purpose. I will be pasting that here, and then here I will create the subscription. Okay. So here, if I go, here it is a pending confirmation that is showing. If I go to my mailbox, if I refresh here, I will be getting okay subscription URL. And uh, signing credit URL something okay. So here, if you click on that link, you will be getting downloaded the PM file. And if you click on that here, it will be showing subscription confirmed. Okay, right? Cool. So if I go back to SNS. See, currently it is pending confirmation, but if I refresh this page, it will be verified actually. See, it is confirmed. Okay, that means now. If something getting published in this topic to this particular subscriber, the notification will be broadcasted. Okay, all set. Now we'll be connecting with S3 this pipe. So I'll be going to show pipes, and here I'll be choosing this particular one. And then for the demo, I'll be going to the external stage. I'll be going to properties, and then here event notification. I'll create the event notification. Demo snowflake testing. This is just simply like earlier case how we set up snowpipe with S3. So for the time being, I am keeping all object create event. But if you want to keep an exact update with metadata in between S3 and snowflake table, you have to make sure that if some file is getting deleted from S3, then from that table also it should be getting deleted. So you can check that one also. For the time being, I am ignoring. And then here is queue is queue. I will be entering the error. Right. So here, see, it is successfully done. Now, if I upload something, what will happen? Automatically, in Snowpipe will ingest the data in the video two table. Okay, so let's see that. So see, let's start from video two. If I do currently, it is empty. Okay, so first I will upload a correct file. What is our correct file? Our correct file is Setosa, right? So Setosa, I will be choosing. We'll open that, and here we will upload. Okay, so it is uploading. Based on internet speed and the file size, it will be uploaded. So it is uploaded. Okay. Now what we have to do? We have to wait little amount of time because you know that internally SQS use polling mechanism, and in between some successive poll, it takes some time gap. Okay. So within few seconds, you will be able to see that here data got loaded. Okay. Currently it is showing zero rows. Let's wait for some time. Okay. And if error happens, then automatically in this particular mailbox, the mail will be coming because we have seted our snowpipe such that it will be sending the error notification to this integration with SMS what we created. Okay, right. So let's run this now. See, fifty rows got loaded perfectly for Setosa. Okay, now we got error for which which file? We got error for Farsi color file, right? Because here, if you see in the Farsi color file, one point four hello is there in a double column. Let's see now. This is the time. To check whether all of this experiment is successful or not, so first color will be choosing and will be uploading that. Okay, it is updated, right? So in Snowflake we might not able to see that impact, but what will happen eventually as file executing copy command, the first color file will be getting error. So at least we should expect some mail in this particular mailbox soon. Okay. 
it might be going to spam box or something so make a note on all the different different places in your mailbox okay so you have to wait a little bit but if you basically execute see that start from video it will be having 50 records on it because we have not kept that on error continue feature so if you are keeping on error continue what will happen that copy command will be executed successfully only it will be rejecting those files alone those rows alone for which you got error this proper rows it will be ingesting that is a different case but currently i am just showing that how snowpipe can send the error notification okay so this you can enable for monitoring activity so refresh this I go to all means. So this is our topic. It might be taking some time, but not much. Okay. See how beautifully AWS send notification. Okay. If you click on that, here you will be able to see the error. Okay. See numeric value one point four hello is not recognized. Perfectly, the snowpipe snowpipe is able to send the notification, right? Okay. Now let's test with one more correct file. I will be uploading one more correct file here, maybe Farginica one. Okay, because this file has no such issue, so it will be ingested successfully. And if you see the Farginica file, I think it is also having fifty records. So if I go below fifty one rows, first row is header, so total fifty rows should be ingested. Already this table has 50 rows, so soon we should be seeing 100 rows in this particular table. Okay, so currently 50 rows, and all are these are Setosa class only. But as the Archinica file has no such issue, so we should be seeing 100 rows. Okay, see, it became 100 rows, right? So, this is the beauty of Snowpipe error notification integration, right? And I hope you understood this. For the first time setup, you might be finding this kind of boring job because lot of setup steps are there. But if you follow the way how I explain, and not only that, you just follow the documentation as well, which I'll be providing in the description box. Because somewhere, if you are not uh, facing the correct result, if you are not getting the correct result, obviously, along with my videos, you can refer the documentation as well because they have written everything properly, right? And also, I'll be providing all the scopes and the policies in detail in the description box or in the comment section so that you can refer from that as well, right? So, this is all for my this video. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.